I don't think I can build an app. That's what I kept telling myself for years. I believe it. So I decided to build one. And this is the story. Back in October, when I started this channel, I wrote down eight video ideas. And one of them is build an app. But what kind of app? I had no idea. Let's go. Testing, testing. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So I kind of ruined my honey toast uh, dessert. And by the end of the week, I'd sit there thinking, I didn't do enough. That was the problem. I always kept feeling I didn't do enough, regardless of how much I did that week. And honestly, I've tried everything. I've tried Notion templates, I've tried to do apps, I even tried journaling, and none of it actually helped me. And then one day, I stumbled upon a video from Starter Story, and it said, build your own version. And I was like, that's it. That's what I'm gonna build. To-do app. <laughs> All right, now bear with me. I haven't looked at these notes for a while and I kind of want to set it up for you so you can see what I see, bro. So we're going to go with the makeshift thing that I did up top. So let's do this. All right. I thought it was going to be a weekend build. I, little did I know it's going to take me seven months. <laughs> now, what I did is I wrote the problem that I was facing and how I wanted to like solve it. And this was the idea to have the card of each habit that I want to track or each task that I want to do and like the number of days that I want to do them and like a little description about what it is and the percentage. So then I also wanted by the end of the week, I'd get a weekly review that states all the tasks that I was doing and how well I did it. And if I did well or bad, it would automatically say like based on the calculation. That's basically what I did over here. Here is like I said, what like the screens that I'll be needing. And here is like I did the first time visitor flow. Look at that. I'm proud of you, girl. Then I kind of I think how do I want to create a task with the creation phase? Oh yeah, it did not look like this in the end. But yeah, so basically I add a plus and then I'll give the category if it's health or if it's work and what exactly I want to do and how many times I want to do them. And then I click on finish Then let's go. We started. Now for the details page, this shows you, this is getting closer to the end result. I wanted to have three tabs, which is the home and then the task and then the review. If you have a review, it show it, otherwise it won't. And you have a list of reviews in the end. And then this is the basic thing. You just get what you need to do. And then if you do it, it will mark it as check or cross. And yeah, that's it. That's what we have here. Oh yeah, and I did the, I started with doing the database schema. Look at you, girl. Super proud of you all right you know what not bad um actually it gave me a good foundation to start on so now i start designing the screens Okay, now that I have an idea, a flow and a design, it's time to actually start building. So my motto in this stage was build with what you know. Well, more like almost no. <laughs> um, because I didn't really have deep experience, but I had enough to get me started. And now for the back end, what I'm going to be using is Node.js for the JavaScript environment and Express for the API framework and MongoDB for the database. This part scared me the most, but honestly, looking back at it right now, it was actually the easiest. Schema, 
logic routes done and then testing it on postman and getting that first success response ah pure dopamine bliss man then came the part that mm, i always dread deployment i i usually use versal but this time it was a nightmare timeouts runtime errors like i don't even remember but it wasn't working and it turns out Versal uses serverless functions and I don't really know what that means. All I know that I had to restructure my backend and that sucked, man. It really did. Then I thought like, what, do, what am I doing? Look for other solutions, man. And that's how I discovered Render. And my God, it was bliss. All you have to do is just hook up your repo and done. The API is live. Okay, now for front end. I wanted this to be a native app, so I used a React Native Expo specifically for the framework TypeScript because apparently everybody says that it's the standard now. CSS for styling because I'm a purist. And the stand for state management. I started with Redux and changed my mind midway. But anyways, cut to a montage of me building the UI from scratch. Now that the app is ready, it's time to ship. <music> to publish in the App Store, you need to join the Apple Developer Program. I, I complain a lot about it in this video. You can go check it out. Once I joined, I thought, finally, smooth sailing. <laughs> nope. Yeah, nope. You need a website that has a privacy policy and a contact page. If I knew I had to buy a domain, I should have just went with a web app or whatever. Nah, I'm not complaining. So now we go and we hunt for a domain name. I wanted to call my app Tasco, so obviously go with Tasco.com. But yeah, um, yeah, there's no way I'm paying that. Hell no. <laughs> and then I, I saw it's me Tasco, and I laughed. I'm like. Who is Tasco? And yeah, that laugh was enough. I, I bought it. <laughs> you know, people talk about SEO friendly. I go with what makes me laugh. Oh God. <laughs> I built the landing page and I wrote a short description. I prepped some marketing resources and I submit. I submitted the app for review. And while I was waiting, I thought, 
I want to test it on a real user. And who better than someone with zero bias other than my mom? <laughs> Okay, I'll take it. Day one. Uh, read your books. Swimming. Okay, I'm ready. So I did it. So I did it today? Yes. I'm ready. Where did I do it? The door. This? No, it has to be another one. Why? 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 <laughs> what do you have to say? Nothing. Yeah. yeah, she wasn't impressed at all. And that cracked me up. And I'm like, I'm using this for marketing. So I used it in my waiting list. I used it in my landing page. Hell, I even made it the title of this video. Ah, uh, anyways. And then the reviewer feedback came back. And the endless back and forth began. rejected my app again like why why is it this time come on this is the third rejection I am bloody tired of this okay I just submitted version 7 that's how many times I've done this app <laughs> and nobody wants it like, not even me anymore, but yeah, uh, I'm tired, it's a vacation, and what am I doing? Trying to submit an app for an iPad, and I'm not gonna use it on it. So Apple, screw yourself. They rejected my app again, like, okay, first time, because I don't wanna support iPad, they're like, oh, 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 you have to support it. I was like, okay, fine. And then the next time, they're like, mm, it's a bit slow when I log in. Fine, I upgraded my server. And now I don't even know what. What's the issue now? Come on, man. What is it? Performance accurate metadata. We are unable to locate some of the features described in your metadata. Specifically, we were unable to locate features create a week and set their weekly goals. What the <laughs> Please provide steps. They're insane. They're freaking insane. Create a week and set their weekly goals. Bro, bro, it's the first thing it asks you to do. What are they talking about? Like, okay, let's let's do that, okay? Look. Okay, let's log in. Let's see what's up. It's right here. It's right bloody here. Create a bloody task. What? It tells you. What are you gonna do? What are you talking about, Apple? This is too much. At some point, I swear, they're just messing with me. But finally. Hello. Mama, guess what? Hello. What's you? قبل التطبيق اخيرا بابا اخيرا مبروك شكرا شكرا that's it it's live now i know what you're thinking it's just a to do app and you're right <laughs> but it's also more than that it's me breaking a belief i've held for so long i can build apps now maybe this is just the beginning a starting point for more learning building and shipping and who knows maybe even a hit now i have been working on this app for seven months and yeah i'm gonna go chill now so till then later